Happy Tuesday, witches. Today's card pull is from the Moonology Oracle card deck, written by Yasmin Bolin, artwork by Nix Rowan. Today's card pull is New Moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Aquarius is all about progress and being in the modern time. So this is the time to move forward. The new moon in Aquarius card means no looking back. Change is on its way and it could come quickly. Whether you get the change that you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it and how much you're relying on others to bring it to you. This card comes with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently or on your own, but be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energies have an electric feel to it. Certainly there is a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. Attune to the moon. Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Additional meanings for this card. You need to be more detached from the situation. Thinking outside the box will bring the solution. More pragmatic more pragmatism is called for. That means be more pragmatic. Think about things more logically. Improve your karma by doing some charitable work. The teaching. Aquarius is the sign of invention, modern advances, technology, and humanity. Its energy is a little brittle. It's individual, scientific even, and relatively emotionally detached. Many people think Aquarius is a water sign because the Aquarian symbol is the water bearer, but it's actually an air sign and is far more about intellect than the emotional water sign. As in this card, no matter when you drop it, when you draw it, dropping convention works well with this energy. On July 19th from 5 to 6 p.m. live on YouTube stream, we will be having an Ask Us Anything event. This is where you can ask me any question that you would like. Please know that if what you ask me has to do with a personal re reading, that will be put off until later and I will be contacting you after the event and we will set up a time and a date for a reading. But these are places where you can ask questions about sanctification, how I run my practice, what is it like to have a certain service provided to you, so on and so forth. So we hope to see you at our live stream on July 19th from 5 to 6 p.m. You can check out the website for the link and we hope to see you there. On July 30th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., I will be at Journey's Psychic Fair located at Journey's Spirit for the Soul, located at 4400 Salem Dallas Highway, Northwest in Salem. Come on in. There's going to be over 25 practitioners, vendors, lots of fun, laughter, and get a message for this summer. We hope to see you there. Entry is free. Prices to the various psychics are varied depending on the person. You can check in with the receptionist when you come in and make your appointment with your practitioner. We hope to see you there. Another upcoming event that we have will be on August 5th from 4 to 7 p.m. The ticket price is $30. This class is called Let's Talk About Magic, Baby. We will be doing a very basic introductions to all things magic. We'll be talking about the basics of magic, the elements, the gods, the goddesses, sabbats, and much more. This is also a great class if you're considering being involved in Witchcraft 101 in the fall. If you do take this class and decide to take Witchcraft 101, the ticket price of $30 will be credited to your tuition for the month of October. You can register for this event online, on the website, or by contacting us via email. 
Our last event for the summer so far is August 6th from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saren Witchery will be making their debut at the Eugene Pagan Pride. That will be held at the Alton Baker Park. I hope that you'll come and join us for a chance to attend workshops, appreciate art, and share joy as a community. There will be live music, children's activities area, and tasty food and beverages. You won't want to miss out on this free family-friendly celebration of pagan pride. We sure do hope you'll come and join us. We look forward to seeing you. In October, from October 13th to October 15th, out on the Oregon coast, we're offering a Rediscover Your Inner Goddess weekend. This weekend is available for all levels, new, experience, doesn't matter. This weekend workshop will allow us to deep, deep dive to find our inner goddess. We will be having meditations, food, activities, as well as arts and crafts. When you leave, you will leave with a mirror that you have decorated for you and your inner goddess so that when you feel lost or disconnected, you can use this tool to reconnect with your feminine divine. The reason we chose October 13th, which is a Friday, is because historically Friday the 13th was a day reserved for all beings to celebrate their inner feminine divine. Want to get registered? Check out our website, www.sarenwitchery.com. Get your tickets in. Spots are filling up quickly. We hope to see you there. Lots of fun. Blessed be witches.